was in the ninth grade when I had my child, when I got pregnant. They took me out of school. When I came out of school, Ebola business came. And that whole year, year Ebola spoiled the whole school year. And this year again, I'm staying in the ninth grade instead of being in 12th grade. I want to get out of high school, graduate and go to college to become somebody tomorrow. For 14 years, from 1989 to 2003, the West African nation of Liberia endured civil war, and now it faces significant development challenges. Only 15% of youth graduate high school, and almost a third of young people are unemployed. The area of reproductive health is particularly problematic. The birth rate is almost five babies per woman, and one in 100 mothers will die in childbirth. In the most remote communities, family planning items like birth control and condoms are often out of stock, and pharmacists, clinic staff, and health educators are also in short supply. The Liberian Ministry of Youth and Sport, the Liberian Ministry of Health, and the United Nations Population Fund, or UNFPA, join together to fill that void. Okay, this morning we'll be talking on family planning. Okay, anyone want to tell me what they know about family planning? They created a reproductive health youth volunteer program, and 50 young men and women were chosen to be part of the inaugural corps. Before going into the field, the volunteers received training on health education and service provision, as well as in supply chain management. They need a little more to prevent pregnancy, but they come here to help to prevent sexual illnesses. They committed to serve for at least one year in health clinics and drug warehouses in the five Liberian counties most in need. Behind the scenes, youth volunteers make sure that reproductive health supplies get to the women and girls who need them. I'm here to monitor. We put on basic reproductive health stock level. Meanwhile, the volunteers' deep engagement in their communities means that clients trust them with their most intimate questions and concerns. Because you see one thing, the reason why me and this program is for to save your future at no present time for. James helped me to get on my contraceptive to protect myself and I was able to understand here and today I think I am blessed because as long as I understand, I won't make a mistake in my life again. I never knew that I could have made any impact in anyone's life. But with this program, I think I have made a very huge and a significant one. Young people are total assets by their very age. Just by being young, they're already an asset. They're actually having conversations that are changing lives, changing communities, you know. They're giving women new hope. What I would like to see for the future of this program is a skill up of this program throughout the country. And by so doing, we will ensure that we have universal access to reproductive health services throughout Liberia. It is not easy to get here. Three hours, four hours, people walk to this place to come for help service. The cell phone reception here is bad. You must put your phone on a stick to get somebody to talk to. The work is not really easy. But sometimes when you volunteer to do something, with all the challenges, you sometimes do it with passion because you have volunteered to do it. Well, it's the national service I'm giving to my country. I love doing this job. To serve my country. In a country where over 40% of the population is under 29, the Reproductive Health Volunteer Program is a model for fulfilling the next generation's potential. Since 2013, when the program began, the volunteers have made a tangible impact on their communities, and they will continue to do so for as long as they are called to serve.